Hello, my name is Simon. I'm part of the visualisation team at Civic Arts, which is a firm of architects and landscape architects, um, urban planners in London. And today I'm going to be showing you how I would go about creating some of the elements for a formal garden. And the sort of thing I'm talking about uh, here, some projects I've worked on, is uh, this, this sort of area here. You can see it's fairly natural, and then other areas are quite formal. Here, I've got a close-up of that here. And uh, this is the sort of thing that I want to show you how I would do today. Um, very often, well, most often, I would get uh, an AutoCAD plan from the landscape architects here. And uh, I would, normally I'd draw over this in AutoCAD. Um, I, I like close polylines to work with, which they don't normally provide. So I would trace over quickly, and uh, I, I try and do as much work in AutoCAD as possible. It's very quick for drafting compared to 3D Max. Um, so here you can see uh, the project we'll, we'll be working on today, and it's four ponds surrounded by some planters, uh, and I'd like some clipped trees to surround these to create a sort of an outside room, and uh, some reference here some fantastic trees in Paris that are being clipped to become very formal avenues. Um, maybe you know, clipped yew trees here, which are pretty amazing. I like that one. Um, some more reference, a garden here in, in France, Villandry, which is absolutely amazing. And also some modern gardens as well we're going to be using as reference, which I have used as reference. Um, and today I'm going to use a program called Onyx Tree uh, to create the base mesh. And I'm not going to spend much time showing you how I do that. I'm going to spend more time in 3D Max um, showing you what I would do with the mesh and uh, how I would customize those uh, according to the project I'm working on. Onyx Tree Broadleaf is a program I use to create the base mesh for the tree and uh, this modeler is capable of creating leaves, and twigs and stems. It will go into quite a lot of detail if you need it to, which we don't today. So here you can see I'm going to turn off the leaves, the foliage, the stems of the leaves, uh, the twigs and then they have different settings for the branches, the bows and then finally the trunk. And uh, you can load in presets here, which are a very useful place to start. I'll quickly show you what it has here. These are great places to start. You can see how they you know, see what the different settings do. Um, but there are a lot of settings. There's too many to go through really today. And also, I'm aware that not everyone will have this program. So we're going to export a simple mesh from here and use that as our base in 3D Max. And uh, I have got a base already. Let me just load that in. Here we go. And you can see it's rendered here. It's rendering all the leaves and the stems which we don't need. So I'll turn off the foliage. We don't we really don't need that. It would make it far too complicated. Uh, the stems of the leaves, again, way too complicated. The twigs and different levels of branches. This is about, this is perfect for what we need here. Um, you can see here, you can change different settings. Uh, to spin it to get it, to get it to render properly. Um, I, I think, I think about, I think about there is going to be perfect for what we need today. So I'm just going to go ahead and export it. And I'm going to export it as an uh, OBJ today. And there are various settings here to um, uh, minimize the poly count. But I, I'm quite happy with the settings as they are. Um, if, if I want to reduce any of the polys, I'll do that in max. I find I have a bit more control over it there. And I'm going to export to meters. I'm just going to press save. And you have to make sure you read this. I have got permission to um, share this model today. Um, so I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to 
sh save that uh, in my project folder here. And that's that.